Hey guys, how you doing? So I've been working on creating a custom GPT for a new program that I'm launching. So I wanted to give you an overview of how the development process with AI is different from traditional development. So I'm talking about AI first application development, meaning instead of using AI to augment and speed up traditional development using Node and Express and React and Vue, etc. I'm talking about developing an app solely based on AI, where uh, the main training of, or the business logic implementation, for lack of better terms, is done within the context of an AI. So I'm using ChatGPT as I'm recording this video here. I'm using uh, five that just came out. So I'm developing what is called a custom GPT. And I've actually been training this thing for months now with previous versions. Um, but the good thing is the new GPT, GPT-5, knows everything you've done in the past if you save things to memory. And so I'm putting, I've been putting together this framework. Now, let's compare the complexity of building a fairly robust app using AI first or AI centric building rather than traditional augmenting traditional code flows, if you will. You're very, very productive building custom GPTs, uh, but you're also very productive using AI to speed up traditional development, traditional coding. So it's a question of the waiting. What do I mean by that? From my experience thus far, when you're building an AI-first or AI-centric implementation, there is, you have to have an understanding of the architecture. You have to know the web, because that's the primary delivery vehicle, typically. You have to stand the web, you have to stand the server and databases and architecture and process flows. So there's a lot of complexity there. I do not see the secretary or the CEO or the head of HR or some HR person building sophisticated applications uh, using AI. Uh, it's not trivial, but it's hyperproductive though. You can be hyperproductive using AI to augment traditional development. So let's say you have a, like I have a studio web. My studio web app is uh, PHP Laravel based. It has a view front end, also some bootstrap as well. So I could use AI to speed up that development, like hyper speed it up. I was talking to my lead engineer recently, it's at least 300% increase in productivity. You still have to know what you're doing, right? The junior is not going in there and uh, is going to be doing this super effectively. Although with AI, it can help quite a bit. Um, that's one route. I call that model one, traditional development augmented by AI. What I'm experimenting with now is it's, it's more like 90% AI driven and 10% traditional. So uh, I am, for example, looking to deploy this, uh, this new application within the context of a basic web app. But all the logic and all the, all the details and the scheduling of tasks and all this kind of stuff, this is all managed through prompts, prompt engineering as opposed to software engineering. So it's different. So what does this all mean? What does this all mean for developers? So what this means for developers is that your job is safe. Job is, your job is safe, but you gotta look at the new stuff. It's, 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 it's complex. I have been putting a lot of time into this to develop this uh, new application, uh, which is AI first. And it's a lot of work, um, structuring everything, understanding what the AIs can do, how you deploy it, coming up with all the business rules. A big part of development is just understanding the business context and the business rules and how to organize process and flows. So for example, how do I onboard new users effectively? Even in the AI age, or in, even with an AI first application, there's many considerations. Do you uh, create a custom GPT that's then exposed via API on your own site? Or 
do you maybe just have people go to open AI through a, a hidden GPT through a chat window? Do you deliver it through a chat window? Do you have multiple chat windows? Do you uh, store user data within the uh, AI or do you have an endpoint as it's called? basically a place where the AI will store information in some remote database. It could be a relational database, could be a Google spreadsheet. These are all interesting decisions that have to be uh, considered. These are options that have to be considered based on the needs of your particular project. So anyway, I hope that gives you some insight in terms of what it's like to, to develop with AI. Again, I think the takeaway here is number one, it is complex. Number two, you're hyper productive. Number three, you can do traditional development, Express, Node, PHP, Laravel, Java, C Sharp, whatever. You can do traditional development augmented by AI, and it's a huge speed increase, a huge speed increase. Or you can do AI first development, where maybe 90% of the implementation is basically AI with maybe a little bit of traditional app as a wrapper, whether it be a web app or a mobile app. Um, again, in either case, you still need to know your foundations of code. You still need to know your foundations of code. So I recommend you learn your foundations of code. And of course, I recommend my own uh, coding uh, interactive training program, Studio Web. Links below, I have a few options. My mentoring program, super low price, self-paced, Mentoring program now is in there. Interactive, uh, forum access, etc. Uh, best price ever. So you can check that out. Anyway, I hope this is useful. If you have any questions about any of this, let me know in the comments below. If I was talking too nerd, too much jargon, let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer. All right, cheers.